Hello everyone, once again I am Roseto de Orquesta and welcome to Pantas Malaya. So today we are going to talk about business logic, how the business logic is implemented in some business softwares. So what is business uh, business logic, how it differentiate, how can we differentiate uh, business logic from business rules. So according to the article uh, article of Frankenfeld and, and Steve's business logic is the custom rules or algorithms that handle the exchange of information between a database and a user interface. Uh, business logic is essential, essentially the part of a computer program that contains the information in a form of business rules so that defines or constrains how a business operates. Such businesses roles or business roles are operational policies that are usually expressed in true or false binaries. So business logic can be seen in workflows that they support such as um, in sequence or steps that specify in detail the proper flow of information of that or the data. So the, therefore and therefore decision making business logic is also known as domain logic. So there are key takeaways so the business logic refers to the logic and algorithm serving for the foundation of uh, code in business software. Then business logic can be seen in the workflows that they support such as in sequences or steps uh, that specify in detail the proper flow of information or data. Business logic exists at a higher level than uh, the type of code that is used to maintain basic computer infrastructure. To understand business logic, uh, put on another way, uh, business logic is real world business rules put into a computer code and shown in a computer program via a user interface. So uh, if you are using a, a new, new York, you are working with a business firm and then uh, this uh, business firm is using is a software using a, a kind of software that will uh, say for example produce produce an output according to about the sales or the current sales the daily the weekly the monthly or the yearly summary report on business sales so this or maybe this um, a computer programs or these softwares will give you a, a, an insight on what what are what are the best thing to do with the business for future uh, it will give a like a, decision support system uh, these softwares are using those business logic uh, this will help the, the management decides on things or uh, uh, catering or doing the, the implementation of rules via a computer program so business logic is most evident in its uh, role in creating workflows that pass data between users and software systems. Business logic is uh, so much like uh, it automates the, the workflow of uh, something a manual like uh, the, the basic operations in, in the business in a business establishment their uh, manual operations will be converted into will be converted into a, a computerized version of it uh, an automated version of it so you need business logic you need it to be implemented in a, in a certain program so that it, it works like the, the manual way or process of the business establishment so business logic determines how data may be shown stored created and altered it provides a system of roles that guides how business objects like parts of the software that control how data is transported work with one another so business logic also guides how business objects within software are accessed and updated it exists at a higher level than the type of code uh, that is used to maintain basic computer infrastructure such as how a database is uh, displayed to a user or as basic and from uh, system infrastructure The algorithms involved in business logic performs behind the scenes data processing that is invisible to the users but is critical to keeping things running smoothly in a modern economy. Um,
So let's differentiate the business logic and business rules. So how are the different but interrelated to each other? Business rules are useless without business logic to determine how data is calculated, changed, and transmitted to users and software. But without business rules, to create a framework, business logic cannot exist. Business logic is uh, any part of a business enterprise that makes up a system or a system of processes and uh, procedures, whereas anything else is an example of business role. Okay, so for example, this is an example of uh, 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 business logic. So there is a credit card um, issuer's business logic that may specify that out of state credit card transactions above a certain limit, say $500, be flagged as suspicious and the user contacted as soon as the possible uh, as soon as possible to confirm the authenticity of the transaction so the the policy of flagging such a transaction is an example of business rule so the actual process of flagging the transaction is an example of business logic given that millions of credit card transactions are conducted every single day business logic enables such transactions to be checked and processed in an e efficient and timely manner so make things as uh, to make things uh, easier to understand, in this example, uh, the business logic example about the credit card. So the business logic in that uh, is that um, it will it will flag all the users, all the card users which um, transact uh, an amount that is greater than five hundred dollar, and when that happened, so automatically the system software will will detect that uh, someone has uh, created a transaction of above a certain limit that is 500 so the business role there is that the company put a certain limit on a transaction on a card transaction that is it should only be up to $500 other than that if someone is uh, having a transaction with 501, 502, 550 and much more than $500, it will be flagged. The system will flag that transaction as suspicious and then it will automatically notify. So that is the logic. If someone is uh, having a transaction more than $500, the system will automatically flag the, the user. Then it will automatically inform the admin. Then the admin contact the user. And confirm if the transaction is um, not a bogus. If the transaction is confirm if the, tra the transaction of more than five hundred dollar is authentic. So, so the rule is card transaction should not exist five hundred dollar. That is the rule. Now the business logic is whenever someone that uses the card and the system creates transaction that is more than five hundred, the system will flag the transaction are suspicious notify the uh, the business or the bank after the notification the business firm will uh, contact the or the card user and then confirm the authenticity of the uh, transaction that is more than five hundred dollar so I hope you get the that the difference between the business logic and the business rules and thank you for listening